Hello again, this is Dr. Tushar Shah, 10th of July, the second day of our course on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today we talk about symptoms of COVID other than fever. The first symptom that I talk about is anosmia. This is a very popular symptom. Anosmia is known to lay persons at all, uh, also. A few pointers on anosmia. Anosmia can occur as the sole symptom of COVID and it can occur as an accompaniment of other symptoms. Anosmia is a neurological symptom, a cranial nerve symptom and anosmia can last for several weeks. It is said that in about 90% of patients, anosmia disappears after 4 weeks. But we have had patients who have had anosmia for a longer period. Hopefully, anosmia recovers in almost everybody. Just like Bell's palsy, which is also a viral illness, recovers in almost everybody. The residual anosmia may remain that we will only know with time. The other uh, uh, symptom that is related to anosmia is dysjuicia. Dysjuicia means alteration in taste. Many patients complain of either no taste at all or very salty taste. Sab namkeen lagta hai. This altered taste contributes to the poor intake of food uh, who are in a patient who is already anorexic. So these, these two symptoms are of course related to cranial nerves it seems. The other unrelated to fever symptom that is often um, told, uh, talked about is diarrhea. It is said that some patients present with diarrhea without respiratory symptoms but usually do remember that diarrhea will come with fever and importantly diarrhea will come without abdominal cramps. So this is very important. Abdominal cramps with diarrhea would not be likely COVID. So this is another symptom, another symptom that is also talked about is backache. I have not seen any patient with backache as the sole symptom of COVID. So I would uh, pass that. So these are the symptoms unrelated to fever. Along with fever, as we said before, body ache, sweating, sometimes headache are common symptoms. But very commonly there is a lot of malaise. Malaise or weakness sometimes is greater than the degree of fever would, uh, would have or greater than the body ache shows. So these are the symptoms, uh, initial symptoms especially of uh, uh, COVID. Now let's go to the respiratory symptoms. The respiratory, the initially when WHO came out with the criteria for COVID, they said that cough is an important symptom. Gradually, we have learned that initial diagnosis may not have cough at all as a symptom, meaning though it is called an influenza-like illness, in influenza you get cough and cold to begin with, in COVID you may not get, in fact more than 50% of patients will not have cough and cold as an initial symptom. So cough, if it does occur, uh, is uh, without much sputum in the beginning and then sputum production increases as COVID pneumonia develops which is after a few days. Rhinitis, rhinorrhea is uncommon in COVID so a significant rhinorrhea would actually go against the diagnosis of COVID. So the, uh, the other symptom that was initially thought as the principal symptom to be uh, to diagnose COVID is breathlessness. Now we all know that breathlessness occurs late in the disease maybe in the second week in fact, happy hypoxia precedes breathlessness. So breathlessness is not an initial symptom. A patient of COVID often complains of breathlessness because of anxiety. So if a young patient, especially a young patient because they become more anxious than the older patients, the young patient comes with fever and breathlessness at the onset of the disease, then presume the breathlessness to be due to anxiety. And these patients will often say that, Lambi saans khichna padta hai, jaise puri saans le nahi paate, I can't take my full breath inside, classic symptom of anxiety causing breathlessness. So the uh, breathlessness sometimes is just anxiety and you should be able to diagnose that easily on a video consult uh, with COVID. So that's about it, about symptoms other than fever in COVID, uh, we'll meet you with another video today itself. Thank you.